Okay, I was talking with Haley before this, so what in the hell is chat doing? Also, okay, good. I thought my screen got... Ah, there we go. Uh, got f f flipped or something. What the hell are you all talking about? Also, yes, Odin Sun, you are in this game. Wait. Okay, yes, I see the thing about... Wait. We, we will not be discussing David Bowie's cod piece, but okay. Ah, uh, no, no, you're in this game. Uh, I guess technically Haley, Cosmo, Mike Mike, and... Uh, Damasu and Odinson are in this game. No one is denying the niceness of the cod piece, I'm saying we will not be discussing it. So, real quick explanation of... <laughs> uh, Miriam, you're gonna regret that statement one day, probably very soon. Um, so, quick explanation of this game since some of you weren't here. Uh, basically, we are running... well, running. Uh, we are controlling five idiots who left their last job and started their own Super Sentai series. Uh, thus far, they have beaten a man inside a cardboard box with boxing gloves. That's pretty much about it. So, the way that, uh, we've discovered some other things here, is that, uh, we can buy, like, suits for everybody to make them, like, less shitty. I think we've already upgraded everyone, everyone's, uh, uh gloves. Right now, our team lead, which is Haley, has a sword. And our techie, Mike Mike, has a gun, because reasons. We'll probably try and get everyone else to have one at some point. Uh, we got, after our first episode, we got this crafting thing, because we got a bunch of duct tape and cotton, so we can make decorative, uh, decorated gloves. Uh, apparently we can make bucket helmets and, uh, suits and fake boots and stuff, as well as swords and clay guns. Except we don't have any of the stuff to make it. Yeah, no, no, you're, you are going to regret making the statement of you will be able to give an objective opinion of cod pieces. Um, we... These are the stuff that we know how to... or that we have, and these are, like, crafting materials we can make out of the stuff we already have, because apparently we make leather out of cotton and plastic out of Play-Doh. <laughs> uh, I thought I recycled these. These are our old shitty gloves. I think I'm actually just gonna recycle them right now. Oh, wow, that was shitty. We got a duct tape. Okay, I am the dork. You're bringing up an interesting point, then, that I don't actually want the answer to. Wait, we have a common materials pack? Oh, no, we don't. We can buy that. Uh, in that, what, what do you mean by that statement at all? Oh, wait, so we can upgrade... Nope, nope, we're changing the name. The squad name is gonna be... The Lair Squad, unless anyone else can come up with a better, dumber name. <sighs> Assuming I can type things correctly. Lair... <laughs> Lair Squad. Um... Mecha Name. Okay, we definitely need to... So, chat. I need you to come up with mecha name, a mecha shout, oh good. Okay, yes, super layer squad, I'm okay with that. Super layer squad, okay, the studio name is the layer, we're sticking with that. So we need a transformation name, a transformation shout, we need a mecha name, uh, call the sh whatever we shout to get them. Oh yeah, Loratron, we have a mecha. I forgot about that. What the hell is wrong with me? Um, I wow, I can't spell the name of our own bot. Loratron, thank you. I feel like that means that the the shout to call the mecha should probably just be Loratron. Get the fuck over here. No, wake the hell up. Okay, so we still need a finishing move, a transformation, and a transformation shout. <laughs> hey, he's he's awake right now. 
Look, usually when Lorotron's broken, it's my fault. Not always, but usually. I'm the dork. I don't think that counts as exhibitional act. Uh, uh, exhibitionism, though. I think. Echo, no one is talking to you. Stop it. Go away. That was terrifying. Um... <laughs> Transformation show. Flavorful change. Sure. Okay, what the hell do we call it then? Just the change? We are afflicted by the change? Sure. So we still need a finishing move. I Flavor- oh, yeah, nope, that- that's better. I'll give you that, flavorize is better. Okay, there we go. So we still need a finishing move. Ah, okay, that does make more sense, but I think most of us can agree with your statement of generally not feeling uh, like we want people looking at us. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Lore Punch until I see something better. I think Lore Punch is stupider than the Lair's Elbow, also because now I'm just thinking of the People's Elbow, and I... Knowledge Bomb! There we go. Yep, yep. There we go. Okay. Okay, now then, upgrades. Okay. We we should probably get healthcare, yes. Also, hi friends. Ah, that was terrifying. <laughs> okay. Okay, we can afford an SD camera, that's probably for the best, yeah. <gasps> Pardon me while I hang up and die. Workbench, crafting rate. We don't really do too much crafting, so... Microphone. 10% audience from combat and skills. Ooh, that's good, because we're trying to, like... <laughs> that, that just seems a little bit too long in the tooth there, Nate. Okay, yeah, so microphone, because we want to get early audience, yes. Shop partnership. Uh, not that important yet. Bigger studio unlocks medium level upgrades. That feels like a waste, and I don't think we can afford it yet. But I think I'm okay with the stuff we did grab. Okay, so I think... Yeah, I think the comfy suit is just better for pretty much everyone. Bye, Miriam. Oh! Oh, Miriam was, was uh, away. Ah! Yeah, that's why I'm just like, yeah, no, more audience, better. Much better. Um, the boots are also pretty important, so let's buy and equip those for pretty much everyone. Um, I think I want to do the comfy suit, just because the extra health seems important. Oh, so our cast is Cosmo as the assist, Mike Mike as the techie, Haley as the lead, because of fucking course. Uh, Damasu as the assault. And Odinson as the scout. Uh, yeah, everyone's getting comfy suits, because I need- I feel like they need the health. Um... So, I think we need to give Damasu a gun, just because he has a gun- he's- like, good in, uh, at using guns? <laughs> well, you'd better, Mike Mike. Um... And I guess we'll give Odinson a sword, since he's the scout, so he'll probably be, like, in close. Okay. I think we won't buy any other wep- Actually, no, we should get Cosmo a sword, so that he has a weapon, too. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, Mike Mike's green, but that's about it. I'm yours, maybe. Also, it occurs to me... Uh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. 
What? What the bollocks? Where is it hiding? Why do I not have it? What the sh- hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Now I'm annoyed. I have to go find something. Hang on. Hang on. I know this is stupid. Just give me a second. I promise. Okay, so do I just not have- do I really just not have this on- oh my god. Well, I was gonna say I'm just surprised that no one's used this yet, but uh... Since for some reason I can't use that on my current window, and it doesn't even show up in my own chat- god damn it, that's so dumb. Okay. It does show up in chat. Yeah, it doesn't show up in my chat because one of my two chats, uh, hasn't been refreshed since the emote went live. Okay, there we go. We will go li uh, sorry, would you say assist has? Unfortunately, the lead has a whip or like a lasso. Sorry, the assist uses long range, okay. I just like giving them swords because it's also just good if they get into close range. Uh, recording, that's what we're doing. Okay, wait, we can pick? Oh! Wait, what? Okay, I didn't realize we had options. Okay, so we can either go with a Wolken story. In this episode, an innocent bystander will be kidnapped by the evil monsters. But, should this victim be a boy or a girl? Also, laundry problems. Max audience is 1500, a random dead end. Reach the guy before defeating all enemies. Reach the guy in three turns. Okay, maybe. Uh, the Lair has an argument with a stunt actor who does not want to use a proper costume, but they have to record the episode anyway. Is that why there's a man in a barrel with a sword in it? Uh, max audience 1500, a public perk, defeat boss monster with a finishing move, attack the boss monster with th lead- wait, with what? Lead three times? Oh, the lead, okay, okay. Fat alien terrorizes the city, and Cerebro sends the Super Lair Squad to deal with this threat. But someone has a dentist's appointment? What? Okay. Uh, so. Haley, you should take an Uber or a Lyft. So. Well, I'm gonna have to also ask Chad a real poll. Should we do a Woken story, Barrel and Roll, or Fatty Alien? I'm going to actually do this as a poll so I don't fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, hey, I, I agree with Miriam's opinion there. No, not betting. Stream poll. Wow, I can't spell. There we go. There. Okay, so, which one of these should we do? Fatty Alien, Barrel and Roll, or Wolken Story? <laughs> no, we're not digging a big hole, and... Damn it, Miriam. Don't encourage them. Okay, well, so far, Fat Alien is winning. No, you tried that backwards, Steven. No, Fat Alien's winning. No, because there's. Oh, Barrel and Roll. Oh, okay. I did the order, stupid. Okay, so so far, Barrel and Roll is winning because I am dumb. Wait, guest team member on set? The fuck? What does a guest team member mean? Oh well. <laughs> okay, I think it's pretty safe to say we're doing barrel and roll then. Encouraging them to vote for a real option, not vote for, because they just want me to have to dig another giant hole like in Minecraft. Because that turned out so well! 
I put down two build a nuclear reactor. I didn't think they'd pick dig a hole. Or why are you wearing a barrel instead of your costume, mister? Also, why are you tiptoeing? I am a high value stunt actor and your silly costumes are beneath me. Wait, what, we, we have a contract for this episode. So get back in the dressing room and put it, uh, and wear whatever costume is in there. Just whatever costume is in there. We'll even let you use the teleport effect as long as you're properly dressed. We move to the set and start recording while you change. Aye aye. That man is not getting changed. Best case scenario, he's coming back out wearing that. Worst case, he's coming out naked. All right, let's move now. Thank you very much, Mike Mike. I just like his, did, do you know why he gave you those? No, I did not. Because he called you an idiot. <laughs> Shut up, I know I'm an idiot. We even have a quote about it. Patience is a virtue, isn't it? A few moments later... Still not in a proper costume? We can't record like that, my friend. Mike Mike, you're so nice. This is my costume. I am the Barrel Man. I'm going to roll over you all. I'm sorry, are those pigeons with guns? Okay, that's enough. You're going to roll back to where you came from. I know the squirrels, but are these pigeons with guns? Okay, so defeat the boss monster with a finishing move, attack the boss monster with three lead with the lead three times. Okay. Wow, we can just flavorize right from the beginning? We did not get to do that last time. Well, you run up there and go all teamwork. Cosmo, you come over here. Actually, yeah, I guess you move right up there. Um... Actually, can we... I don't think we can teamwork like this, but I'm a fucking try. Uh, Mike, Mike, you can't actually quite go far enough, can you? Yes, you can, because you can jump over. What? Why can't you attack him? Oh, because we're not flavorized. Fuck, okay. Well, I need you to go attack him. Good job, Haley. We are the protectors of Earth, sure. Quick, flavorize now. Down in this corner because reasons. Wait, why, why, why am I the peon? Oh wow, your suits look way less dumb now. Ooh, yeah, kill that nutcracker! What the fuck?! That was a bit extreme! Like, three of you all teamed up on that poor, uh, nutcracker. Ooh, okay, that was bad. You move over here and team up. Um... Weak breadcrumber. Okay. Um. You move over here and fucking stun him. Quabada! That felt impressive. That's multi shot, right? So, Steven. Yeah. So, your name is the Mistress of Chaos upon the stream, and I am the shoe ruler. So, I was like, what does that make cap? Oh, good. Uh, I love and hate all of you so much. I'm sure Nate is, but I'm gonna play it dumb. No, no, no. I know I can attack while flavorized. I can't move and attack. Or while not flavorized. Look, Nate, I'm not gonna play this game good. I'm also on, like, the second episode of the whole thing. So, meh. Never. Absolutely fucking never. 
Let's suppose you can... No, you can't really hit any of them. Well, you could go kill that breadcrumb. No, you can't. Okay. Um... Yeah, because you already did your move. Okay, well, I was trying, and it didn't work, even though I could move to every other side of him. Including behind, so... Meh. Um, maybe I should just try and punch out the breadcrumber, because that seems concerning. Okay, now then, Haley, you need to go try and beat the living shit out of the, the barrel man. No one cares it's not fair, barrel man. I mean, you can start out being an orcish peon. Nerf, please. What the fuck? That was some cheaty bullshit. That was some fucking cheaty bullshit. Oh, that teamwork was up. I wasn't paying attention. God damn it. This guy is actually going to be kind of difficult to hit, isn't he? Okay, you move right up to him. Uh, jump right there. Fuck it. Just mess with him. You assholes with guns are actually kind of difficult. Nate, stop. I do actually know what's going on. I thought I had more movement than I did. Okay, who's actually... Haley is taking a fair bit of damage, so I should probably try and go heal her. Um, yeah, but Cosmo can't heal himself. Actually, he can teamwork, and that heals sort of everyone in the area. Actually, that's probably a good idea for now. Actually, so you cannot come up there and hit him, no. Please just kill this Nutcracker, both of you. Team up and kill him. Okay. Barrel Man is way the hell over there. He can suffer. No, no. Give me the... Oh, no. You can get up close and just shoot at it. Yeah, fine. Kill the nut... The bread crummer. Whatever. Good job. Um... Okay, you move over there... And I'll try and get Haley a little bit closer so, so she can get healed and such. <sighs> Heal Duke and the Haley. <laughs> I love the stupid spin. Okay. Uh, where's... Why is Mike Mike all the way back over there? Because I made poor life choices, that's why. Yeah. Yes! Okay, we got that one. To Ooh, we got silver tape, because that's a thing. That is slightly out of range. Yeah. No, cancel that. So move, like, one closer. And now we'll lasso Barrel Man. With the Eagle Lasso! The silliest name I have ever heard. And Sword, just for good measure. That did slightly more damage than I was anticipating. Okay, let's make it a little bit hard for him to barrel roll all of it. Oh, fuck. I don't know if we can all get to him now. I'm actually just gonna try and move everyone sorta close. Ooh, that did not reach the person I needed to heal. 
Yep, nope, just everyone teamwork up because I don't have other shit for you to do. And I want him to just come to us. Oh, I didn't realize he'd keep going until he hit a target. Beeps. Yes, I know we need to finish it. Shut up. Actually, no. Shit, I moved to the wrong spot. Okay, I know we're stacking everyone kind of shittily, but we're going to stack them so that... Everyone... Like, no matter what, he'll run into an object. And theoretically, everyone should be able to, like, encircle him. Ha-ha! You fucked up this time, Barrel Man! Now we're gonna end ya! Sure, yes, together we are invincible. Sure. Punch him! There, there is our knowledge bomb. We have the dumbest color scheme, and I know it. Haha! -ha! With like full audience, too, I think. Maybe not full, but pretty damn close. Oh, yeah, no, full audience. Fuck yeah! We made less than last time, but that's still not bad. Plus, I may have put a bunch of extra shit. Like, bought a bunch of extra shit, so. Kinda makes sense. Okay, um. Does Cosmo have a gun? No, he does not, so let's get him a gun real quick. Yeah. Ooh, wait, we have mail. Party in two days. Hey, Susie, our neighbor asked me. Wait, what? To send this email invite. You. <sighs> to invite you over. Wow, that wording was hard. Uh, tomorrow's a big day and we're celebrating. There'll be cake and lots of soda for everyone on our street. Sh sure. Wait, I. Right, I'm not Susie. Uh. Sh sure. Sh sure. Did I respond to this one? Yes. No, I didn't because it's just the. Is that a turtle cat? That looks like a turtle cat. What the hell? Okay, I just want to make sure that everyone is actually, like, equipped and stuff. Toy sword, paintball gloves, yeah. Okay, so we definitely need helmets. We need less shitty helmets. Okay. I think we could craft helmets, right? Yes, but we need plastic. So first thing... Let's recycle all of our old crap. Wow, or it could give us nothing. That works too. What the hell, game? I guess we'll keep the toy sword just in case, though. Come on, game, give me some- Oh my god, what the shit? Half of these are giving me nothing! Even when they have, like, a 50% chance of giving me a thing. Ugh. Ooh, but that would give me Play-Doh, and we kind of need Play-Doh. Fine, whatever, I don't care. Okay, it gave us everything. I'm okay with this now. Okay. So, we want to make a bucket helmet. So we need... We can craft two plastics. And one silver tape. Or no... Crafting more silver tape actually wouldn't help. Well, yes, Nate, I am on day one. I have done two episodes. Okay, who do we want to give this to? Um, who keeps taking- who has the least health? Nate, uh, uh Odinson has the least health, so he'll get the helmet. So we'll craft second one, who has the least health now? Uh, I guess Damasu, because he keeps getting hit. Okay, there we go. Now, most people have slightly less shitty helmets. Wow, that is a really shitty helmet. Oh. <laughs> okay, Haley.
Oh, is it starting late today? Because usually I'm there by 7 to walk the door. Ah, okay. Then, these bucket helmets actually look worse somehow. But I guess we're gonna stick with what we've got. Okay, no crafting. Um, shop partnership, we don't really buy shit, so... I guess that probably would have been better, but eh. Okay. Uh, duh... There we go. Recording. Okay, so we can do Wolken Street or Fatty Alien. Oh, sorry. Oh, swing like swing dancing. Yeah, sorry, you're in the door. Mm. Ah. Um, let's go check the poll to see which one of those got slightly... <laughs> okay, so Wolken Story was the second runner-up, so we're going with that next. Okay, so, reach the guy before defeating all enemies. Reach the guy in three turns. Okay. Whoever the guy is. I've been researching and I think of no way to go viral and boost our audience. What is it, Mike Mike? Some of our episodes should be re referencing the greatest heroes ever from other TV shows. Okay. Cool, we could record a special episode, but money isn't our best weapon. Don't worry, Haley, I've got something in mind. There'll be a kidnapped girl, just like in the series that inspired us. And my sister will be this kidnapped girl. <clears throat> Wait, why, why are we not using a male in need of being rescued? That's a valid point, Cosmo. Shouldn't we do this with someone else? She is family, and she always wanted to be rescued in a hero TV show. I think we should be careful so we don't fall into sexist tropes, says the robot, but okay. If the series that inspired us were like this, and if Odin's son's sister really wants to do it, what's the pro- are, are we having this conversation? Dimashu, we not, may not see our motivations as sexist or racist, or things like that, but when people watch our shows, they only see what is on the screen. Wow. Cosmo is clearly the most eloquent person here. I mean, he is the god there. I, except that right now he's a beaver. Thank you. So it's our Thank responsibility you. to change the way things are, instead of just reproducing the world as it is. Except that that's... This is just like an after-school segment that for some reason is coming out before the show. I understand now. Fun things can change the world, right? Smiley face. And such a small change, too. My brother-in-law, Lucio Diaz, also wanted to be saved by us. So I guess my sister won't be disappointed after all. What the fuck? Okay then, let's move out, Super Lair Squad! No, 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 Odin's son has human siblings. The beaver is the one making the weird, eloquent points. Come on, the hostage is still here! Is- is that a ninja turtle? I think that's a ninja turtle. We need to take him to the boss! Let's do this quickly, I think Super Lair Squad will be here soon! We're all sleepy. Hurry, he's right there! We must jump over that fence with Team Acrobatics! Oh, actually, sorry to interrupt the episode, Haley, but... What now, Mike Mike? Our uniforms are still in the laundry. We can't flavorize in this one. What?! I hope our fans understand. Let's abuse the use of our teamwork to make it more fun. Alright, everyone. Set, let's do this. I wish I'd known we were not gonna be able to flavortize, but... Uh. Hurry, she's right there! We need to save! Why can't I just use martial arts skills to beat these monsters up? Lucio, what did I tell you early, earlier? Luciano, whatever. You need to stay quiet. We don't even have a microphone on you. Alright. Impact phrase, and <laughs> let's go! 3, 2, 1, action! Our narrator kind of sucks. Hurry is right, we need to save him! Not if we stop you first, Super Lair Squad! 
Okay, reach the guy before defeating all enemies. Reach the guy in three turns. I think that's actually going to be pretty easy to do. And so what is this? This is a weak shell shield. Oh good, that's a terrible joke. Just keep moving, to, uh, Odin Sun. You can do it. Okay, Haley, go beat the fuck out of that weak nutcracker. <laughs> because these are statements that I always wanted to say forever. Um. Double attack! Yay, Cosmo has a double attack! <laughs> well, I'm sorry you won't be able to catch all of it, Elf Cat, but it's nice that you were able to hang out, man. Wait, they can just walk through the fence, but I can't? That's some bullshit. Oh, right, I should have probably tried to get Damasu farther up. Wait, but it says I can flavorize. What the shit? Now I'm confused. Oh. Flying Cosmo! He just consistently flies away. It's fine. I mean, he's a flying boy. Exactly. Go beat up the shell shield, Haley. Wow. Okay, you did some damage and then he punched you right back. It's it's deeply strange. It is very, very strange game. Okay, Cosmo, just counter. Thanks, Super Lair Squad! Okay, so we'll teamwork. And you'll teamwork. So we can jump over him and punch him in the back! Or I guess double uppercut him, because that's a thing. Now finish- oh, you can't reach that one. Okay, finish this one off. Or damage him, whatever. Wow, Cosmo consistently does lots of knockbacks. Also, consistently gets knocked back, but whatever. <laughs> Odin Sun gets kicked, immediately kicks Monster back in the balls. You, teamwork. You. Also teamwork. You join with Cosmo for double teamwork thing. Okay, now we finish off this nutcracker with another kick to the balls, I assume. Or a punch to the midriff. Haha! We completed all the director's instructions! Didn't this happen on Moon Vulcan too? What? Only if we recorded in the North Pole, Odin Sun. Ha 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 ha. Spoilers, yeah, that's the very last episode. Oh, thanks for, for spoilers to a show that doesn't exist. What? So, when you said, you know, punch the nutcracker in balls, I was like, well, he doesn't have balls, he's got nuts. <laughs> Clearly he doesn't. <laughs> Aha! Good one! Too bad we didn't have an, the Amazon girl to fight with, but what are any of these references? Nothing you need to understand. Lucio Diaz? Thank you. <laughs> Woohoo! We got some random not that great materials. And we made some money. That was poo perfect, Super Lair Squad. Super Lair Squad, new gear, so cool, want. No flavorful change this week? Maybe they're redesigning the uniforms? Have I mentioned that Super Lair Squad is a great indie show and hugely surprising? It's the best Twitter feed ever. I've never seen a Twitter feed this positive. Oh, 
Oh wait, we have three emails now. Dr. Soap, an old friend, how are you doing, my old friends? It's that asshole we left. Uh, we all know I'm the only reason why your new show is any good. I know that our last moments weren't so great, and we were in a bad situation because of the ideas you have stolen from me. Let's get the deal. get straight to the deal. You have a few options here. I see you in court, or you pay me tributes for our ideas, or I'll be your director. I hope you understand the situation. Everything will be alright. Uh... What does he mean by tributes? Because if he just means... No. Maybe, but we don't make any money. So I think we're gonna see him in court, because that's some bullshit. Hang on, sorry. If you discount my recent badges on court, I'm certain like... I don't know who those people are, but okay. And yeah, yeah, I can see that as an idea for duct tape. I am gonna go with see you in court, because that is some bullshit. Having fun, kids, from Ferdinand G at Nando G at email.cm. What a forgetful uncle you have, Mike. Mike, we haven't talked since the studio's opening. How are things at my warehouse? I hope you have all the space you need. I told Joe to fix that leak in the bathroom next, to the f uh, next Friday. Oh, and make sure to feed that cute little cat that lives around the place. Uh, she's been there since I brought in Cerebro device last summer. Probably snuck in the box or something like that. Cats are always nice to have around. I hope the little fellow inspires you to create new things. Ah, why angry at them? Because the story is like the one thing about our devastation of light so far. I admit that I pay zero att attention to anything even related to MTG Finance because I'm one of those people who goes, if you're basing your financial decision on tiny flimsy pieces of cardboard that only have value because people assign really random value to them, you kind of deserve it when you run out of money, but... Eh. Oh my god, there's a podcast for that? There's multiple podcasts for that. Technically, the people who own... MTG cast right now run a website entirely about uh what's it called? Okay. Well that's fair then because I don't read any of the mothership articles anymore and to haven't in a long time. Uh greetings, representative of the Lair. My name is Ronaldo Sampio. I am the manager of Mad Folks Marketing Agency LLC. We love your first episodes and we're willing to work for you, making your show reach more and more people around the world. This is how our agency works. You pay us a fixed weekly cost, and we work converting the audience to your episodes into fans and income. We guarantee a 15%... I'm... I will tentatively try it. Oh, I don't know anything about the promo changes, so I'm not going to comment on that. Marketing. Oh shit, this is a lot of stuff. Oh no, my beer is gone. That was a very good beer. Okay, so we've got 322 fan power. One hundred percent episode starting audience. That hasn't been an issue for us. Income conversion rate. So I feel like the event is important because that's temporary and won't we'll stick around. At least that's what it seems to say. Um, more audience seems like a good idea. And I guess if we have it, episode starting audience is fine, sure. Okay. Uh, and I don't think there's anything else we can really upgrade. So yeah, let's go. Oop. Promo changes are fine. I mean, let's be honest, the professor is first and foremost an entertainer, and a lot of people were upset about the change, so a lot of other people joined in with being upset about the change. I know that even without knowing what the fucking change was. Um, I don't think... Have FNM promos ever really been that big of a draw? 
Like, the one store I ever regularly went to F&M at, yes, they gave out whatever the promo was for, like, the winners, but they also had a box where they kept every F&M promo that they didn't give away at F&M's. So, if an F&M had, like, 32 people in it, the top eight would get whatever the current F&M promo was, and everyone else would just get to pick from the box. Because it didn't matter. Yeah, your promo might be something dumb, but... Eh. I think the f I get the feeling that the issue is that they tried to justify the change when it's just a... Hey, we're gonna try something different for a little while. Don't justify it, just... We're trying something different. Fans have very specifically asked for f foil tokens. Or maybe that's just Chris Lansdell screaming about it a lot. But, eh. Okay, perform a team attack with three squad members. Defeat all weak bread crumblers in four turns. Defeat all minions before defeating the boss monster. Hit boss every turn. Okay, that's gonna be weird. <laughs> What's the change? There will be one. <laughs> for the modern PTQ. Um, I love it when we use the teleport effect for no reason at all. It's just too much fun, isn't it, Dimashu? Ha 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 ha. I almost forgot. Mike Mike, you have a dentist appointment today, right? Yeah, in a few mi moments, Haley. Then I'll have to leave. I'm sorry. Mike Mike, you're a robot. You don't have teeth. What the fuck? No problem. We'll make this as quick as possible. Get ready. It's time for the minions to get on stage. Okay, so we gotta kill the weak bread crumblers. Oh, who are apparently gonna be fucking surrounded. Suddenly, a very human-like human -like alien-esque figure joins the scene. That is just a fat alien. No, you're not supposed to join us right now. We haven't found your hiding place yet. Oh, I'm sorry, folks. We'll pay more attention next time. A few more minions to the scene should make up for it. Prepare yourselves. I thought we said a few more. Defeat all weed weak bread crummers in three turns. Okay, we can do that. Oh, sorry, PT. Sorry, I read I don't know why I read PT and was just like PTQ? You don't have dentition to care about dental health! Jump behind and punch him in the butt! Or the face and the other side of the face. That also works. Okay, well... Jump behind and punch this one in the butt. Or also the face again. What the shit, guys? Well, move over here. Oh, flavor eyes! Oh, they ran away. <laughs> well, then just shoot this one. Ba -da -ba! I hate you all so much right now. <laughs> Wow, yeah, that bucket head looks really dumb on the Gold Ranger. Hey, you know what? I'm glad that I- Oh my god, that was a- Since when do they have dynamite? Well, you know what I'm happy I have now? Um, this multi-shot. <laughs> because, um... Fuck all these people? Hang on, so really quickly, can I team attack on a multi-shot. Let's try this. <laughs> Holy shit, he can move like anywhere. Okay, so none of them are within the multi-shot range, right? Okay. Let's see if we can just take everyone out at once. 
Oh, no one got, like, chance attacks. That kind of sucks. Okay, which one do we need to take out? We're gonna have to spend all of next turn taking out guys, but I think we can finish off this one at least right now. Double punch! Can you stop running away? Please? Oh! Oh god. Okay, they might try and take out Odin's son. I forget that he has way less ho health. Ah! Uh -huh. Oof! Oh, okay, this is getting bad. I, I admit, it's getting bad now. Uh, okay, so you need to heal Odin Sun, like, now. What the fuck was- Oh! Oh, that's what happens when we use the ability, okay. Wait, it's a free action? Okay. Yeah, so this is our last turn to actually kill these fuckers, so let's do that. I have screwed this up so much. Okay, kill that one. Fucked this up real bad. I've got one turn left, right? 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 It's the way this works. Stab that man in the face, please. Oh, that was way more damage than I needed to do. Good! Kick him in the balls! Okay, this is our last turn. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so good, we did have time. How much does your... your shoot will not finish him for sure. Okay. Okay, so you two can shoot this man. <laughs> nope, nope, Odin son, sorry, but I need... I need everyone else to go off shooting people. So, uh, you're gonna have to just try and not die for a bit, okay? Wow! Okay, apparently I should have just sent Mike Mike to kill that man. Okay, you get right up there. Teamwork. You... Son of a whore. Really? Fine, teamwork yourself. Please tell me the last was a free action. Okay, you get the hell over here. Punch him! Punch him in the face! Thank you. God, I was actually worried there. Okay, so I fucked up. I- I am- I will admit, I fucked up there. Punch this man in the testicles. Thank you. Good job. Wait, these guys are both damaged. We can actually just take them out in one time. What the fuck? What the fuck, you dodging bastards? What the shit? Okay, this is gonna suck. <laughs> um, yes. Technically, I don't think you're wrong there. I was really hoping that would do a self-heal, too, but whatever. Um, wait. Damasu, you have a gun. Just shoot him.
Oh, we need to do that in the first bit. Fuck. Okay, so we screwed up one of the domestic, uh, director's instructions. Oh, okay, but just bye, Mike Mike. To be continued. Wait a second, we may use Mike Mike's absence to build a new story piece. Yeah, like Mike Mike was kidnapped by the fat alien. This will be gold. Well, cough, cough. Actually, proceeding with the story. <clears throat> we should take it to a different position. The audience will think there's a different part of the episode. Good idea, Odin son. Everyone move and let's take the new positions. Fat alien kidnapped Mike Mike and then Super Lair Squad reached its warehouse so they could get to their friend back. And suddenly it appeared. You shall never see Mike Mike again! Mike Mike is in good hands. Uh, yeah. Then someone else joins the set using the teleport effect. Who the fuck are you? My name is Thomas Dahl. I'm the... I am Gal Silver, the sixth ranger of the Gal Rangers. We are responsible for maintaining galaxy-wide peace. And this intergalactic monster is the threat to us all. I thought you were barging into our studio. But I definitely take that your line was too... was just too great. I don't think you can write. Welcome to our show, Thomas. Alright, everyone keep rolling. Gal Silver, nice to meet you here. Fat alien kidnapped Mike Mike. Say your last words, obese creature. Oh, that's kind of mean. Limit his potential, Gal Silver. Wow, his suit actually looks way better than ours. My Gal Saber is ready to strike you down. But his stats are not actually that much better than any of ours. Weird. Okay. Okay, hit boss every turn. Done for- wait. Hit boss every turn, done for this turn. What do you mean, done for this turn? Defeat all minions before defeating the boss monster. Okay, can do. Oh, no, no, no. Teamwork. That's what I wanted to do. Thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you. Eat a dick. He's got a sword, so I can't partner with guns. I need you to stab this man directly in the everything. Okay, or don't help. That works too. You dick. Okay, quick. Shoot the alien in the stomach. Because funny. Hey, wait. Uh, all of our guys are back to full health, so. Shoot the nutcracker! Yeah, wait, so why didn't you work together with the sword, dude? Silver Ranger, my butt. You're secretly on their side, aren't you? Wow, that was actually kind of an impressive gunshot. Okay. Well, I guess now we just have to murder fucking everyone, so... Haley, it kind of annoys me that all your character does is dab all the time. <laughs> Apparently it's just what the Silver Ranger, or the, the, the lead person always must do. Maybe we don't want to be invincible. Did you ever think about that? No, you only ever think about yourself. You silver asshole. In just a minute, I have to beat the shit out of this stupid alien. Eat sword! I feel like that was a little bit drawn out charging attack, but whatever. Okay, go punch the weak breadcrumber. 
Wow, god damn, you're just bad at everything! Silver Dude is not that great! For a guest star, I was kind of expecting him to be more impressive. And not get shot every turn, but maybe that was just an overassumption on my part. Also, never mind. What? Oh. You monster dog. Why would you do that? That poor evil doglet, why would he do such a thing? I stand by giving Damasu a gun. Okay, can we kill this guy now? Please? He's got three health left. Good job, Cosmo. Right, I forgot we gave Cosmo a gun. Quick! Flip! Stab him in the... something. Seriously, even his sword is shittier than ours. I mean, it looks cooler, but... Yeah, wait, which Green Ranger? <laughs> That's terrible. Wait, wait, will this change our team attack? You know what? We're apparently not going to get to do our team attack, so never mind. Everyone is slightly too far away. Fantastic quadruple! Just everyone punch him! Wait, we hit the boss every turn! What the fuck? That's some bullshit. We were very careful about it. I mean, didn't they also manage to find ways to bring him back for like eight different seasons with like gaps in between with no explanation? You should thank the energized crystals. We all channel Galaxia Force for what? But I must leave now. My ship, the Star Road Surfer, awaits me. You're just making this up as you go, aren't you? That man was just crazy. No, no we don't. He was shitty and not that good. Well, yeah, no, no, I agree. Damn it, I did not realize I missed a turn. Well, shit. Holy cow, Super Lair Squad is awesome! Hits the old hero show right in the nostalgia. My job at work tomorrow will be to tell everyone about Super Lair Squad. Thank you. Watch Super Lair Squad, uh, latest? Join us on our Sentai podcast at 8 p.m. Hey, <laughs> Igor Asifé. Hey, you watch Super Lair Squad? Or hey, you, watch this. <gasps> Ugh. I think we're just talking, what was his name, like the actual character's name? It was Tommy something. Hire our friend Dave. He's got more than a hundred followers on microblog. Microblogging audience... Uh, no. Okay, or we can get a part-time accountant. Or we can get mad folks. Okay. So commercial break gives us more money. Part-time accountant. A friend of your dad's. $100 per episode. We can sort of afford that. Sell key holders. Oh, so we make extra money per commer per thing. Local sponsors. Ooh. This one seems like the best. Like, Dave can get bent completely. But these all seem really good. Yeah, I think we should go with part time accountant. That's what I was thinking, was he was the black one for the one series that I watched and then end up watching a bunch of the earlier ones. Um... Yeah, wasn't he red for, like, multiple ones, though? Three episodes for $90... Yeah, no, no, we can afford three episodes for $90. Fuck yes. Okay, we have lots of fan power. Uh, sure, fan conversion rate. 150 per episode? Fuck yes. 
And yeah, fifty dollars per episode. Sure. Yeah. No. Lots of money. Give money. Money means I'm less poor. Okay. I just want to make sure that no one's got any like other stuff I should be paying attention to. Okay. And they've all got equipped as best as they can be, unless we can make more helmets. Let's see if we can make more helmets. Yes, we can. They still look dumb, but they could look much worse. Okay, so we need tape and... Okay, we cannot make any more. Okay. Unless we get stuff out of this helmet. Game, please eat a dick. Thank you. Thank you for eating that penis. I guess we're buying a pack. Aha, we can make a helmet. After we craft some plastic. So the issue is that leather and Play-Doh look exactly the same. Oh no, I need to make another thing of tape. Sure. There. Okay. Make the final helmet. Give it to Cosmo. Yeah, that, that's sort of hard to beat out. Wait, why is it telling me to equip this to people who already are wearing one? Oh right, I forgot they have like side benefits that I haven't been paying attention to. I should check that. No, no, shit, wrong thing. Oh, what? Are we... Are, we're about to do the season finale? Okay, shit. Um, hang on, let me make sure that everyone's got, like, the right bucket heads then, since apparently I need to pay attention to that. Yup, good. 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 Good, yeah, no, that's all fine. Okay, so we've got two emails to respond to. No subject, be careful, you are in danger. What? Okay. Hey, Cosmo! Remember me? You gave me your card after you helped me on the train station. The guy who needed money for tickets since his card wouldn't work? I seem to have bought, uh, brought your bag along with mine by accident. Train companies, right? I'm so sorry about that, but they look intact. I'm still totally broke, though, if you can send me- <laughs> I- <laughs> Sure, we're gonna be nice people. We're gonna be nice people and send this man $125 for a cab. Uh, I'm gonna regret this. Okay. Now then. Our fine. Well, hang on, let's see. Let's see if there's any studio upgrades we want to get. Probably should have gotten this before doing all that crafting, but whatever. Yeah, nope, this is all fine. This is all fine. I don't want to... Of course it's a scam. But I'm being nice people, because I'm used to doing this in stuff like, um... Uh, Game Dev Tycoon, where... You should pretty much just do the good, the like better things because the bad things have bad consequences and the good things generally have no positive or negative consequences. What? Wait, I got the best friend bow? What? And wait, actors? Yes, okay. What the fuck? Fighting monsters is more fun with friends. Level four. What? What? Okay, so only the assist can use this. So, fighting monsters with friend is more fun with friends. Skill regen bonus. Plus 40 team attack damage, 44 weapon damage, 100% cooldown cost. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay then. That's a thing. Oh, well I wasn't paying attention. Because reasons. Okay, well time to do our season finale. Uh, I think we'll be stopping after the season finale, y'all. So, an odd figure wanders through the streets of Super Lair Squad City. 
What is it planning? Super Lair Squad will find out and use a new invention from Cerebro to put an end to it. Max audience, 4,000. Location, middle of the street. Director's Instructions, Part 1. Keep all your heroes standing. Damage the boss monster in the first turn. Okay. Part 2. Win in four turns. Execute five team attacks. Okay. Director's Instruction. Defeat six enemies. Defeat boss monster with finishing move. Defeat boss, boss monster with a final strike. Execute four perfect attacks. I don't know what that is, but okay. This is going to be difficult, I bet. The mysterious villain. The transmance... Transit Man, sir, was spotted downtown. It was about to enter the science lab when Super Lair Squad appeared. Wait, another science lab? Really? Wait, why can he float? Stop! You're not shining your lights on that research data! How do you know I was on my way to the lab? You don't exactly blend in with that terrible outfit. I just realized he's wearing a traffic cone. Since you failed last time, we figured you'd try and steal the project again! I'd stay in front of that lab door day and night if I had to. I'd give you a ticket for illegal par parking, Dimashu! Minions! Why were they just hiding in the sewer? Like, especially when they've proven that they could just dig out of the ground. Why hide in the sewer? We're here to aid you, master! Keep all your heroes standing, damage the boss in the first turn. Okay. Oh shit, I moved him to the wrong spot. Oh, Mike, Mike, punch him in the face! And then we can flavorize! So that I can pull everyone away from the danger I accidentally send them to. Okay, that sort of makes sense. <laughs> wow, the bow has really good range. Wow, and I can actually just kill one of them. Fuck it, yes. What the shit? That's so dumb and I love it. Okay, well, time to make them all suffer, because they're gonna be dumb. Hey, Mike Mike. I love that I gave you multi-shot. Bang, 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 bang! Ha ha! Seriously, multi-shot was easily the best idea I have ever had. Giving that to the techie. But they can dig out of concrete! If they could dig out of concrete, why in the fuck did they have to come up through the sewers? Haha! -ha, we stole cotton from that squirrel man! <laughs> what? Oh, did he just cheat and get a second turn? That was some bullshit. Teamwork! Actually, can we just kill him, like, right now? That would be pretty sweet. I mean, I doubt it, but we're gonna fucking try. Punch him in the gut! Yeah! I mean, I was kind of hoping it would work like a gun, but still. Don't get cocky, Super Lair Squad! What? Oh. I have a little surprise for you. Did you think my master would let me handle that data? What? Er, yeah, that's what I said, Tomasu! It was only intended as a distraction to keep you from getting in his way! 
No way! We'll defeat you in time to keep him away from the lab. In time, you'd better hit those brakes because I'm out. What? <laughs> yeah, where the fuck did he go now? My scan indicates the creature vanished completely. Cerebro might have a lead for us. Wait, no, not so fast. We need more action in this part. Mike, Mike, all mud men to the scene. Aha, Mike, Mike, you were spoke pulled into the story. Don't forget about our audience. Oh, good, more bread crumblers. I fucking hate these guys. Win in four turns and execute five team attacks. I can do that for sure. Oh, right, he's got a bow, so that doesn't actually combo with anyone anymore. Okay, so jump. Punch him in the face! ba da -ba! Okay, so who's got a sword? Okay, Odin Son, you've got a sword. No, Odin Son, you've got a sword. Come here. Teamwork attack. You run right up there and stab him! Double stab! What? What the fuck? That is some bullshit. Shoot that man in the face. Thank you. Yeah, just what the fuck, bread crumblers? You all suck. Just because they run away and shoot me all the time. Good, good kill. Okay, you move over to here, and then shoot that fucking bread crumbler in the fucking face. Damn it, I was... I apparently don't understand what triggers team attacks. Also, screw this man. The best friend bro... Best friend bow can just kill him. I don't even care anymore. Really? I have two turns to kill these fuckers. Oh, son, can you reach him? You can. Go. Good. Go kill him. Thank you. We got a cardboard box! That's a new item. Yeah, uh, nope, we'll save the we'll save the the lasso in case. Okay. We should heal Duke and I think Mike Mike, yeah, he's taking the most. I love that there's just like a light that comes down, shines on it, and rolls back up. Thank you all for lining up pretty decently for me. Okay, so we need to do two team attacks this turn. This is gonna be tough. It's gonna be very tough, actually. Okay, so we set up Mike Mike here to teamwork. Honestly, I don't think Odin Sun's gonna get to do shit. Okay, can I move? I'm gonna regret this so much, because I don't actually know where this guy is. Can I move him right here? I fucked this up so bad.
No, 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 no. Don't. Okay. Move there. Okay. Okay. I. Th mm, I'm not sure if we can do this, but I'm gonna fucking try. Nope. Not gonna quite get to do this. Damn it. So close. Nope, because you can't teamwork. Fuck! Not even get either of these. What the hell? <sighs> so close, but I spent too much time faffing around, I guess. Yeah, I'm on... I think it's intermediate. Wow. Nope. Yep. Not even gonna finish it this turn, because I screwed it up. Can you please stop running... away? Also, just the fact that you can't see the grid all the time is a little bit... Fucking me. Okay. You dick. Wait, no, I forgot we can still do team attacks. So we can at least finish one of these. There, we got one of them. I feel real shitty about that missing that win in three turns thing, or four turns thing, but eh. To Cerebro's Chamber now! Why was there a comma there? And then the Super Lair Squad went to visit Cerebro. That's way calmer, but okay. After a long talk with Cerebro... So what should we do? The research is probably in their hands by now. What fucking research? I have developed a machine to help you in this matter. I could not find a suitable name, so I called it... Loratron. No, that's what we named- that's what we went out of our way to call the mech ahead of time. Uh, May it act in your hands as an instrument to bring peace to this world. What? <laughs> I assume there will be no time for testing it since the dangerous situation may happen at any moment, right? Beep, beep, beep. Precisely, Cosmo. Super Lair Squad, the alarm is sounding. You must go now. Scans indicate that the monster has returned to the location where you last met. So back out in that street. If in trouble, remember to make use of your new device. Got it, Cerebro! A few seconds earlier, the traffic cone-wearing creature teleported to the same scene. But our heroes arrived just in time! Look, he's proven he can just teleport the fuck away. What's to stop him from doing it? Aha! Did you miss me while I was gone? Not really, you were gone for like 20 minutes. Not really, you were right there, sitting in that actor chair. Ha ah. Come on, that's anticlimactic. I even forgot my line after this one. <laughs> Is it time for our Loratron? What? Not yet, we should have another fight before that happens. Oh right, I got it. We're sending you back home at full speed, villain. This is definitely some breaking news! What? Okay. Defeat six enemies, defeat boss monster with a finishing move. Okay. So we have to wait for the enemies to spawn. <gasps> Pardon me while I hiccup and die. Run, Cosmo! Run to the front! There we go. Just everyone teamwork. Fucking all of you, just teamwork. Don't care. Waste the turn. Go, just punch him in the face, I don't care. Ooh. Oh, he's he's got a lot of health. We should probably be damaging him a lot.
jump over his shoulder and punch him in the face! Or, like, quad punch him. That works, too. <laughs> Fire the arrow! Fire the arrow! Ooh, yeah, that was good. I like that he just shouts, apropos of nothing, just, GREEN LIGHT! As though that makes some amount of sense. Wait, hang on, are these both the same? Yeah, they are. Okay, good. Wow, is everyone just slightly too far away to use this jump spot? Yup, everyone is just slightly too far away to use the jump spot. Nope. Wow, I cocked this up royally. Shoot that man! Ba -ba! Well, there's one down. There was probably some... a lot of overkill, but still. Still. Why are you teleporting back to the same spot? I mean, he is, but not well. Nope, nope. Go move right there, then Eagle Lasso. Hello, Tactical Whale! Eh, just punch him in the groin, it'll be fine. That's how real heroes solve all their problems, right? Punch it in the groin until it stops complaining at you? No, what? Where did you go? Okay, fine. <gasps> yes, double jump! Hora! What's with all these cardboard boxes? Were there really three with different, uh, like, car themes? I mean, I wouldn't put it past them, but that just seems like a lot. No, no, no. Red Ranger's gonna run up and teamwork, because Damasu is clearly our, like, brick shit house of a beater. Thank you. Uh, yeah, just go punch him again. It'll be fine. We're trying to damage him anyway. Ooh! I didn't know we could do that! Really? You couldn't spawn one more enemy so I'd actually have the ones- the amount I need to kill? Ha! <laughs> fine! Yes, one shot him. That's perfect. I'm totally fine with that. Sure, whatever, teamwork, I don't care. Give me Damasu. Jump! And punch! Wow, that actually worked better than I would have expected initially. Yeah, everyone's kind of out of range for multi-attack. Eh, it's sure, teamwork, whatever. What the fuck is Light Speed Rescue? Wasn't there one involving trains, or is that some sort of deeply disturbing fever dream that I'm remembering? Because I'm not gonna lie, it's entirely possible that's exactly what it is, I just don't know for sure. And let's get you- oh shit, I don't want to clump up again. That would be bad. You, get back there, and punch this one in the butt! Actually, Cosmo is taking the most damage, which sort of makes this whole he-can-heal thing not that great. Hildoken! There we go, now Odin sends back up to full. Until he gets hit over the head with a stoplight. 
Twice. Really? Twice? Was that actually necessary? And I guess we have to spread out now so he doesn't explode us all again. Okay, weird. I just thought that there was one that had a train theme, so maybe it's just something that I have been exposed to at some point and forgot about. Just shoot him for good measure. Oh! Oh! Okay, I was afraid that was gonna do way more damage than it did. Also, it turns out that effect has a way wider range than I thought. <laughs> Odin son, I don't know if that's disturbing or impressive. Maybe both. Just shoot the nutcracker, please. Let's get it over with. Thank you. There we go. We killed our six enemies. Now we just need to damage the transit mancer enough to get our finishing blow. Actually, no, yeah, I guess you can teamwork. Jump, fly, punch him in the face! I, I would assume it would hurt, yes. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of? But that might be giving me a lot of credit for something deeply silly. Well, see, now I'm just thinking of that one Thomas the Tank Engine thing where they got uh, Alec Baldwin to be the conductor. Because that's a thing that is now taking up room inside my head. Yeah, and many of them are just as dumb as that. Go beat up the Nutcracker. Ah, uh, the phrases I get to say for this stupid game. Okay, let's keep you all at a slight distance so he doesn't explode again. But close enough that you can get in next turn. Okay, so can we finish him next turn, do you think? Yes, yes we can. Okay, so we'll teamwork now. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, you could make our lives way easier. That were oh, fuck me. Okay, well, our lives still aren't too bad. So team up. And team up. Not you, you're gonna be our finisher. Team up. Stop it, you're the finisher. Team up. Finish him! With the knowledge bomb! I hope that that sound effect changes at some point. Haha! -ha, we got all the instructions that time. Getting kicked twice in the same episode, so not cool! Maybe we stopped kicking him in the balls. Sorry for that elbow in your face, it was in the heat of the moment. You know, you can't beat me like this. I will be bigger and stronger. Uh, I will be back stronger and bigger. Thank you, Mike Mike. I mean, we're not done yet. Remember, you always have to defeat them once, or in this case, twice, and then again. I mean, I've seen random things, but I don't have any association with them being Power Rangers or other Super Sentai, so eh. They call it Second Life, but how is that possible? Tremble, mortals, my light shall burn you down. Your light is a traffic light. There's like three of them around us. There are four, plus yours. The time has come. I'm ready. My master, make me... Loratron, wake the hell up! <laughs> what is that? One of Cerebro's inventions? It certainly is. We'll be ready to roll. You're all lucky to have Cerebro on your side this time. What does that mean? What do you mean by this time? Cerebro's never on your side. Don't turn red because I'm about to change. Red, green, yellow. 
power of R R RG will strike you down. Lordron, wake the hell up! I love that it's colored for our shitty colors. <laughs> this is made entirely out of cardboard, isn't it? Defeat the monster with a final strike. Execute four perfect attacks. How do I perfect attack? Oh! Oh, fuck. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Okay. Wait, so the white is perfect? Fuck me! D really? What the shit? Well, hey, we got a four times combo. And healed a bunch. Nope. Nope. God damn it. There we go. One. Two. Two. Oh, okay. What? Oh. Alright. I've activated our special skill. What special skill? I was gonna keep punching him until I got all my perfect attacks. One. Two. Sword strike. <laughs> oh god, that's so dumb. That was so dumb. That was so dumb and it was perfect! How long until more of these co things come to Earth? Who knows? At least our planet is saved. For the moment. I don't know how, but we did it! And we did it so well! We managed to learn how to pilot the Loratron in the heat of the moment. Yeah, it actually did take a minute. It was great, indeed! We just need to learn how to make some cooler moves for the next battle. Yes, you fucking do. All of our moves suck. What happens when I'm ready for it? Uh, whatever happens, I'm ready for it. Pfft. Who would have thought that Loratron would be so easy to control? <laughs> we should touch base with things that happened in the last few weeks. What about that message from Dr. Soap? He was offering a deal, pay him or go to court. As if we had taken his ideas and reused them in our series. What did you tell him, Haley? Told him to get lost and that we would see him in court? Yeah, it's better that way. I bet he's bluffing. Also, because you have he has no legal standing? So he doesn't bother us again anytime soon. Moving on to the next topic. Good news! Thanks for our hard work, we now have a nice fan base and a growing community. Now that things are going well, we need to focus on reaching even higher audience levels. We need some threat to Cerebro in the next season. Soon enough, we'll have our first episode of the second season. Let's get to work. Super Lair Squad is here to stay, but things won't stay simple for long. Like that creepy man staring inside of our uh, warehouse. Holy shit, we made a lot of money on that. Sentai is going indie! Super Lair Squad is the new show in town! Sunday's almost over, I'm glad I watched Super Lair Squad! My girlfriend was skeptical, skeptical about watching the show, but now she's a fan. Oh my god, at the lair, you have surpassed all my expectations with this show. That's good, because your expectations should have been really low. This is the best thing ever, The people's expectations for the next season are high. We, I, I know you can't see achievements, but we just got the achievement hype machine. New contract, record the season finale after recording four other episodes, the contract will be cancelled if the number of fans is lower than 10. Season hype. During the next season, you will lose twice as many fans the first time an episode fails. I am so glad it seems really difficult to fail a thing. Okay, so... So, our... Our mecha currently is made out of colored box of justice. It's square and it's durable. The... Mega- oh no, so these are things we could replace the chest with. Whoa! Some of these will actually look pretty sweet. So we could make some silver tape and make a mega chest to give us defense. Or we could make some silver tape and make an even better- oh, okay. So, 
I think I kind of want to make both of them just for the sake of having them. So the arm, the true striker, or the precise puncher. But that needs... What? Gu guache paint? Sure, whatever. Let's go with that. Wood board. Mega arm drill! I want it! I want it! Oh, I want it! Yeah, Mike, Mike, I think it's pretty good that you get to be the torso. I mean, it kind of sucks that none of your, like, torso upgrades are going to give us new abilities, but still. Okay, so our left arm gives us the sword arm, but we could replace it with punch, an aerodynamic arm, or a titan, titan arm. The head can be the turtle, the dragon, the hunter, or the titan. Wait, are they all just the titan at the end? No, the arm isn't. I like how the legs are just one grouping. Just that's it. They're just the legs. Oh, that's so cool. Oh! Okay, yeah, I mean, I saw that the this drill arm gives us a, a mecha special attack, which I fucking want now, because that sounds amazing. Uh, crafting. Ooh, we can make way better shit now. <laughs> Dad improved on... Sorry, garage-made suit. Dad improves on mom's original design. We can make a composite bow, a tube rifle, a brooming spear. Once it was a broom, now it's awesome. The house-made sword. You saw a tutorial for this online. The disjointed axe. Oh my god, I love these. They're all amazing. Hygienic pistol. Never tell anyone what the barrel is made of. Sharp clay dagger. That's just a shiv. You made a shiv. Don't lie. Oh, and we can craft all the other materials now. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, this is so cool. I love it. I love it. It's so dumb. Oh, and we can buy the other, like, weirder stuff. Oh, that's really sweet. Urgent request for Mike Mike. Hey, mate, why do you done answer my phone calls and what's message? Look, I really need you to come down and fix my PC, dude, for reals. How's it going? Been really busy with that Dangerous Dragon show that you have, right? See ya, mate. Okay, so Mike Mike will fix your computer or Mike Mike will be busy forever? Nate, I'm trusting you. Which one of these is the right option? Meanwhile, also, also, should we send a picture or signed picture? So, hello, Edward Orndorff. My name is Edward. I'm a huge fan of your show. It is always a highlight of my week when I get to sit down with my daughter Ariana and watch your show. The adventures that you have and the stories you tell us are ex uh, get us excited, and she always loves the fun and over-the-top action. I can't tell you how often she's run me down yelling the name of her favorite moves, insisting that I'm the monster that we're all fighting. Uh, since we both like the show, I get to share my fandom with my child, and having that time to share is fantastic. I know it would, be, it would really make my little one's day if you could send her a reply if, if you would send a reply to this for her. Thanks for reading. Never stop fighting. Okay, fixed computer. That's what I assumed. I... I think we sent a sign, signed picture, right? Right? Yeah. Oh. Hello, go in Super Lair Squad. Thank you so much. My daughter was so excited to see the reply you sent, and the picture of the cast you sent with its f framed on her wa wall. She won't stop telling everyone about her new friends in Super Lair Squad. Thanks for helping make these special moments never stop fighting. Our fans increase by 20. Sup, mates? <laughs> Sup, mate. Cool to see you again, just like old times, huh? Hope you had fun. Talk of old times, I found that toy gun we used to shoot water at other kids with. Maybe you can use it for this- for your Trek Wars show. See ya, mate. What the fuck? What?
Where's the other one that we responded to that we weren't sure about? Oh, it's back here. Party in two days. Oh. Okay, so that's the one where we should have said no to. Okay. Well, fuck. Okay, so where actors? Okay, equipment. So we got the Seeker, which is a tech-only gun. And... Oh, right, we got fans. Okay, so tech-only gun. Seeker. Roll for the techie. Yep. It is a mega level 4 rifle, I guess. With no... Oh, dodge this! <laughs> Minus 30 to enemy dodge! Fuck yes, they can never dodge us again! Well, I mean, you did have to go repair a dude's computer. I feel like that's okay for tech only. So we get 12% critical, enemy dodge. I think that's even more powerful than our little pistol. Yeah. Just with a higher cooldown. Fuck yeah. Fear Mike Mike and the Seeker. And now I'm just gonna hiccup and die. So yeah, apparently I just should have said like, nope, do not invite me to party. Oops. Plastic helmet. It's not pretty, but it gets the job done. Leather glove. Oh, right. You know what we forgot? To check and see if there's anything new in the shop. Silk gloves, mountain boots, night helmet, knuckle gloves, and reinforced suit. Also, the plastic pistol. It almost looks like you didn't buy it at a toy store. The average broom. The plastic sword. It's colorful, but it really hurts. And the Japanese toy dagger. It belongs to another series, but no one will notice it, right? And only the scout can use it. Okay. So it's less attack, but better critical. Weird. Okay. Not sure if I like that, but... And then the hanger bow! Resembles assembled for the mangled corpse of clothes hangers! <laughs> love this. This is so dumb! This is so dumb and I love it! Okay, so the leader is the only one who can use brooms. Oh, wait. Avenger broom! Ah! Ah! I want to see how this compares to the crafted broom, though. So, 40 health, 56 weapon damage, 72 cooldown. 14 attack. Oh, it's, like, entirely different. Weird! Huh. See, I feel like a lot of these crafted ones I like better, but not for any real reason. I just like them better. Um, so really quickly. Just make a bunch of silver duct tape real quick. No, not recycle. Um, mecha. So I kind of want to upgrade to the next level of mega chest. Just so we look less dumb, I guess. But I guess it would probably be smarter to just upgrade what we've got. Yeah, just upgrade all the things we have. There we go. Ooh, we should have done that, actually. Oh, wait, so we got Super Shield and Precision Strike. Okay, that's, that's actually really sweet. No, not actors. I wanted to see upgrades. No, not... Damn it. Studio. There we go. So we could still get the... What's the new thing? Wood crates! Mecha gets 10% extra health! Hell yes! Fuck it, we're doing all these now. Don't even care. I have no shame. Shop partnership. Yep. Bigger studio. Yes. Yes, we can afford this! I'll fucking make sure we can. It's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna make sure. Oh, so that unlocked these. We couldn't have gotten them without that. Okay. Okay. I think we're gonna save some- Why is there a chicken man? Why is there a chicken man? You all see the chicken man, right? And the cat. The strange-ass cat with the turtle shell, right? Guys? Remember that's the cat that came with it? 
Yes, but I'm making sure that they can see the, the cat and the chicken man. Uh, activate commercial break. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Damn it, Mike Mike. There is no nuclear kitty. Ooh, wait, we got level two upgrades. Okay, square roundhouse kick. Oh. <gasps> Oh, yes. More area of effect attacks. Yes. Nope, nope. Always more area of effect attacks. Okay, so. Dexterity. Give extra dodge. Gain plus three audience for each tile you move. That seems good. Yeah, no fan club. Okay. So. Circle of friendship. Heal all allies up to four tiles away for 30% of their health. Oh, my God. Recover, gain, skill regenerate every time you attack. Yeah, no. The healing one is better. Okay. Sniper cat. What? Gain 8% damage for each tile of distance to your target when you attack, or teleport. Teleport yourself to any free position up to 7 tiles away. Why is that a store sponsor? Why would you want a chicken man to be your advert? Uh... <laughs> I hate you all so much. I think we're gonna go with Sniper Cat, just so that- Really? Dude, you can one-shot people from, like, a distance. Um, okay, hang on, so let's see here. Choice of Fan Club, gain plus 20 audience for team acrobatic, and plus 5 audience for team attack. Okay. Giraffe's Apprentice, <laughs> deal 30% extra damage with spears. Vitamins, gave 50% health. For right now, I think I'm going to go with the, uh, uh, the more audience, because I think we could use it right now. Um, just to make sure we're making money. I think the apprentice is good, but I don't think we need it now. But you can take out things with one shot from a distance as a sniper. How about this? We'll try them both out on future episodes. Um, but, with that, uh, do I still have just a camera scene? Of course I fucking don't. I, I'll change it. I'll change it. Hang on. Okay, so, quickly, we are going to be ending the stream right off here. Uh, just wanted to make it clear to everyone that we are currently redoing our streaming schedule, meaning that we will have a regular fucking streaming schedule. Uh, I do not know the exact numbers for any of them off the top of my head right now, but I can tell you right now, we have most days the stream will start basically between 6.30 and 7 at the latest, and we'll go for one and a half to two hours. Um, the current schedule that it looks like we'll be having is, starting on Monday, we will have a Monday night Minecraft stream. On Tuesday, we will be doing a, uh, pre-recorded, yes, I'm gonna run the raffle, actually, yeah. Yes, yes, always, always in mountain time, because I'm very bad at time zones. Um... No, oh, not two minutes. There, sure, four is fine. Uh, Tuesdays, we'll be doing a pre-recorded cooking show uh, that is mostly being done by Miriam and Haley, wherein they will in some way contrive whatever their limitation is and go procure foods, recording that, and then cooking whatever on earth they have decided that they're going to do. Uh, this format may change after we leave summer and there aren't farmer's markets everywhere, but that is the current plan. Uh, and then I will edit that down. They'll do that on Saturday. I'll edit it down Sunday and Monday, and it'll be our stream on Tuesday. We'll do commentary once it's done. Uh, we do not have a scheduled stream yet for Wednesday. Um, it will be me, whatever it is, yeah, because Haley wants to go to swing dancing. Um... On Thursdays, every other Thursday is going to be the Layer of Lore podcast. We don't know what the every other Thursday that isn't Layer of Lore is going to be. Uh, so that's still up in the air. 
On Fridays, we will be doing D&D, unless for some reason D&D can't happen. Uh, then on... <laughs> I am very bad at dancing, but yes, I am actually supposed to get be taught how. Uh... I know for sure Chewie and I have plans to do Overwatch next Thursday? Basically when Doomfist comes out. But no official things. Though I that actually would be a good idea to try and work that out with him. Um, just because we've both been complaining about not actually getting to stream... Like, or actually interact all that much. Uh, then... When's, uh, for Fridays, sorry, are always going to be D&D &D unless for some reason D&D &D can't happen. Uh, Saturday is going to be a Haley streams whatever the heck she feels like day. Uh, it should also be said that the every other Thursday that isn't the podcast is going to be something Haley based. So, uh, just because we all know that you love the one true host and... She yes. Uh... And then Sunday is going to be a cap streaming whatever the heck he feels like day. Uh, so times on those two days are going to be a little bit up in the air. Additionally, we reserve the right to change this as it sort of goes. Yeah, so grab bag. That's definitely what Saturday and Sunday are both going to be. It's just that Saturday will be a Haley grab bag. Sunday will be a cap grab bag. Um... This does not preclude the fact that we are going to be doing some weird bonus streams. Don't worry, she said her title off away. She's just a little bit farther away from the mic. We're going to be doing some bonus streams. Uh, there's at least one stream in the future that can only be streamed on YouTube. Uh, and I would will advertise that ahead of time because that is a VOD that we're also going to be keeping but saving for the patrons. Um... I think that's most of the big updates. Once we have a slightly better handle on what the schedule is going to be with those blanks filled in, uh, we'll update it in the panels below the channel. Uh, and the updates that we are certain about are already moved over to the, uh, the what's it called? The Google spreadsheet, uh, the calendar, the Google calendar, words are hard. Uh, the Google Calendar on our website that tracks a lot of things. That's the other thing is we're going to try and get the website back up to date, which means doing all of the editing, which means that the schedule may not be right for a little while, so I try and get Haley to do some extra stuff so that I can edit all of our fucking VODs. We have so many, many VODs that I need to edit and get on YouTube and then on Patreon. So, yeah. But now you're all aware of all the things that we are doing. We'll continue posting updates about whatever it is that we're doing, at least on a short-term basis, to the Facebook and the Twitter. Um, we are going to continue doing the... Well, not continue. We are going to recommence doing all of our VOD stuff as soon as we sort of get caught up on the backlog. Though I may just start with what we is recent and work the way back, but we'll see. Um, and since we have a patron now at the Gourmet of, uh, Gourmand of the Lair level, uh, we'll also be working on that now, which if you're not aware, on our Patreon, we have the classic escalating system, uh, and it maxes out right now at the Gourmand of the Lair, where, since we're doing cooking streams again, sorry, hiccuping and dying. Since we are. Uh, since we are doing cooking streams again, uh, we send out, like, a little sample of the stuff that we cook on every cooking stream. We'll basically sort of clump it all together and then send it out to the people who are at that tier on Patreon. Uh, and we have some plans for that as well. Uh, one that I actually haven't told Haley yet that Miriam mentioned that I, like, latched onto real quick that sounded good, but... Which was... Uh, monthly cocktails. Oh. Because we can just make some, uh... Oh, like, yeah, yeah, I was there for that. Well, I mean, she, like, refocused the idea on a drive home at one point. Uh. Um, but yeah, we'll basically make our own bitters and simple syrup and write a recipe for people and send it out, since we can't send you all the alcohol, but yeah. But yeah, so, just yeah. wanted to keep you all up to date, because we are actually working on the streaming schedule. 
Uh, it does mean that we're going to be doing regular Minecraft streams, because Minecraft Monday. Um, and it means that we're going to have a lot more grab bag stuff. At the very least, we'll have more structured grab bag stuff. <laughs> so, anyway, Cause, thank you all so much. Because we kind of much. went off the rails for that. Just, just a bit. Thank you all so very much for tuning in, and we will see you sometime tomorrow. It is not the podcast tomorrow, which means it's going to be random and hopefully Haley, hopefully. so that I can do a ton of editing. Yay. Okay. Bye, all. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and consider checking out some of the videos that are playing around this, and maybe even supporting us on Patreon or any of our other sites, like our website, Facebook, Twitter, they're all down below. Check them out.